September 13th, 14th, and 15th, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the sun is in Virgo and the moon is in Leo. I can't say Leo without flipping my hair. So we just left behind Cancer and it was so emotional and it was such a deep feeling. Now it's gotten into Leo. The moon's in Leo. We have Mars and Aries. There's a bit of fire in the sky. And the moon is conjunct Venus in Leo, which is really energetic. So here's the good news. When there's fire in the sky, there are three planets in fire and five in earth. We're finally out of all that mud and Jupiter is going direct. I said that earlier. So here goes Jupiter direct, five planets in earth, three planets in fire. Let's get something done, but let's not do it without flair. Virgo and Leo, the combination is about beauty. They have such a high value for the way they look. And that's not a superficial quality, especially when we're not hanging around people as much. It's, it's really a gift to say I matter enough to go ahead and get my hair done or get my nails done or pick out some jewelry. That's what Virgo and Leo loves to do. And there's so much fire, why not? Now here's the deal. I think it's so funny. September 15th is Prince Harry's birthday. And he was known, that little red-headed guy. I love the fact that he left the tradition and that he's been known for being bold. So not all Virgos, especially if the moon's in Leo, not all Virgos are control freaks. I wanna just speak to that. Virgo is the sign that has intellectual ability to think independently. So while people categorize them, and that's the problem with astrology, we put them in a little box, Virgos are very free. There's a spontaneity about them. They're mercurial, they're speedy, they're funny. They're witty. People underestimate Virgo. I love Virgo people. And when the moon's in Leo, it just makes it even more exciting. And that's what's going on on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. There is an increase of voltage. It could, at the low level, get you pissed off, moon in Leo, and dramatic, and really getting upset. Not a bad thing when needed. At best, it's energized, it's physical, it is athletic. And you know what I've learned? Virgo likes to make little mistakes once in a while and not feel bad about it. One of the things I've learned at this age, because I'm older than I look, is when the moon's in Leo, as soon as the moon enters a fire sign, get up and move. I think so many of us have gotten stalemated because there's so much frustration and we stop being able to go out to do yoga or we stop being able to go out and see the sports. But what you can do is move energy through your own voice by singing, by performing, by playing, by moving energy. So I'm just gonna say Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the moon's in Leo, Mars is in Aries, finally Jupiter's going direct. Move some energy, even if it's being pissed off and loud, it gets the stagnant energy to be healthy. And that's what Virgo this month's all about. How do I get healthy? How do I take care of myself? I realized, said the astrology answers, you've got to get feisty because if we hold that stuff in, it makes us pissed off. And if we get pissed off and we don't express it, we get shut down. And if we get shut down, we turn into prunes. I don't want to turn into a raisin or a prune. I want to stay alive and kicking because this planet needs us, especially the adults. Those kids are counting on us to have fun. And that's what Moon and Leo is asking for. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the four elements and discover which elements and signs you're most compatible with, which everybody wants to know, click the link in the description to sign up and get instant access to my elemental compatibility PDF. And you can find out who you really do get along with.